Safety uh, and uh, Deputy Manager uh, uh, Andrew Flanagan for filling in uh, during the snowstorm that we had over uh, the holiday weekend, and uh, we did a good job of getting things done. And uh, just want to thank the staff for that. And in regards to this uh, correspondence received from the MMA, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to make note uh, that Brian Sullivan's last annual report won first place in the MMA. Uh, so I'll gladly go and accept a award on his behalf for the MMA. So <laughs> we should we, we should we should be proud of that. Last time we met was before Christmas, and um, since then, uh, last week, we are very fortunate to have five new firefighters in town. Um, I went out to the graduation with um, Adam and Andrew, and uh, the facility that they have, the training facility, is absolutely phenomenal. We're, um, we're very lucky, and that's uh, those five are Mark McCabe, Johnny Arnold, uh, Devin Murray, Ben Potter, and Neil Duggan. And, um, We're very lucky to have their, dedic their dedication, and um, you know they work hard. The academy, I believe, was you know around 12 weeks, if not longer. And, um, we're really fortunate to have them. And another thing that I would like to uh, mention was on Christmas. I actually didn't even know about this until um, this year. But every Christmas, Bob Bowes throws a, a luncheon down the Elks for uh, people who are going to be spending Christmas alone. And um, I just like to. So I'd really like to thank Bob Bowes, of course, and then uh, Don Woodrow, Ted Griffin, um, Dan Nachman, uh, Lynn Cabral, Pat Casey, Steve Ray, Peter Corrin, Sandy Casey, and the Haywood family. Uh, this wouldn't be possible without, you know, all their hard work, and, you know, especially on Christmas, giving up, you know, a few hours isn't really on everyone's agenda, but we're really lucky to have those individuals in town. And finally, I... In the, I guess the Christmas spirit and a good mood for everyone. I would also like to uh, note that from the Arlington Police Department, uh, Sergeant Sir, uh, Sean Kiernan, Officer Michael Foley, uh, Lieutenant uh, Brendan Kiernan, and Officer Brendan Kendall um, all drove down to Virginia uh, last week to, um, I'm sure you've seen the story in the news, that five-year-old Nathan Norman down there has uh, cancer, uh, brain cancer and spinal cancer. And he asked for Christmas to have Different fire departments and police departments, you know, send them letters. And a big, um, a big group from Massachusetts went and did that some hours for that. So I'd really like to note them and thank them for going down. So that's it. On time. Yeah, he could pay for it. He could pay for this. Received and probably should have noted that the annual uh, Martin Luther King observance will be held on um, January 21st here in the town hall, um, 6.45 p.m. They ask folks to bring potluck uh, finger desserts and the socializing is a program that begins at uh, 7.30 uh, p.m. And it, it's always a nice time. I hope uh, folks can come out uh, for that. Um, I also wanted to um, say, you know, we opened the meeting, um, uh, Representative Rogers, welcoming Rep Representative uh, here, and, and he did make note that we've lost one of our representatives, and I, I wonder if it would be in, uh, it was uh, Representative Kaufman who served us for many years, I wonder if it would be in order to uh, offer a motion asking the, the chair to uh, transmit a letter of uh, appreciation on behalf of the board to Representative Kaufman uh, for his uh, many years of, uh, of service.
the pistol that that was the size of my life, and I'm sure a number of us were willing to work work on that. So uh, we're going to put that on our next agenda. But wait until the next the 27th, 28th. Okay, we're going to make sure that I uh, put you in touch uh, with Representative Parker to make sure he can make that night. If not, we'll put it to the next agenda. Yeah. And, and lastly, I think maybe we should note that um, <coughs> former select and former moderator um, Harry McCabe did lose his uh, wife over um, right before Christmas. Partners and Upton Partners at 
itself is one of the joint venture partners in Arlington 360, which is the current redeveloper for the site. Um, and Mr. Upton, who, as many members of the board know, has been involved in this project um, since he used to be employed with EA Fish uh, way back when it first started in 2001 and has a great historical knowledge about it. Um, Mr. Upton confirmed for me that um, in uh, the business plan uh, proposed by JPI, which later became Jefferson Apartment Group and later um, entered into this joint venture with Upton Partners, there was a plan to um, make certain payments to uh, creditors um, from a very large uh, construction bill that was out there that was leaned on the property, uh, architect's bills and uh, smaller accounts payable. And that um, one of those accounts payable was uh, to a gentleman named John Greeley, who um, was retained by JPI when JPI controlled the Sims Redevelopment Associates, probably around 2005, I'm um, not sure exactly. And that individual was retained um, as an independent contractor. Uh, I don't know if he um, has, is his sole proprietor, if he has uh, a personal corporation or something else, but that he was retained by JPI to interface with the uh, Department of Conservation and Recreation concerning aspects of the Neighborhood Protection Plan. And um, I don't know the scope of it, it's before my time with the town, um, but that as a result of JPI's uh, essential implosion, uh, Mr. John Greeley was on the list uh, of creditors who had remained unpaid. Um, and this, uh, it was explained to me, John Greeley is not the John Greeley who is also the chairman's brother, um, but a different gentleman. So uh, Mr. Upton did say that he'd be certainly happy to um, issue a written statement to this effect if that was necessary, but that there was no question that uh, you, Mr. Chair, uh, and your firm uh, never did any work for um, the Sims Redevelopment Associates or Arlington 360 or in connection uh, with this project. And uh, to me, that um, ends, ends the issue. Um, we don't know all the details about Mr. John Greeley, but um, it seems clear that he was the one who was owed money. But uh, it's not my brother, and it's not related to me in any way, shape, or form, and certainly my firm had nothing to do with this, nor would it. Um, but to me, this is an, an example of the worst use of the internet, where you can just throw out an accusation, and in one case, on something called true persons, the, um, the brave soul who wrote it called himself Monotony Observer, uh, so didn't even um, have, you know, in my opinion, the guts to identify himself. But uh, if they need to investigate this further, because they saw the same name, they therefore, two different ones, one on the Arlington list and, and then through this true persons blog, website, whatever it's called, accused me of, of taking money. Had they done a modicum of research, had they done one single thing that a true journalist would have done and vetted this story, they would have found out what uh, the town council was able to find out with the phone call. Uh, so I look forward to tomorrow that column being removed by the Monotony Observer, and any of you watching who know who the Monotony Observer is, I look forward to that column being removed, and that there be retractions by those who accuse me of such things. I look forward to reading those, uh, or come before this board with any other evidence that you have that is contrary to what you heard this evening, or take out papers and run against me because I will be up for re-election and intend to run this spring and will be more than glad to bring this to the voters of Arlington. A motion to adjourn. Adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye.